would like to thank all those who have shared their time and talents with the Christian Education Program. The youth and the children at St. Matthew have benefited greatly from the faith and the love that's been shown to them by so many. It's not our normal appreciation year. We're not going to have cake after the service, but you still need to know that you are so greatly appreciated. The video we're about to show the children and youth made last year at this time. I think you'll enjoy watching it again. Thank you once again. Boys and girls, how are you this morning? Today I want to talk to you about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is part of what Christians call the Trinity. The Trinity is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father being God, the Son being Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, who is also God, but sent after Jesus rose to heaven to live inside of us. These are not three separate things, three separate people. This, that, 
Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all one God. But today we're just going to talk about the Holy Spirit. I like to think of the Holy Spirit like the wind. It describes it that way in the Bible. The way the Holy Spirit first came to the disciples. It was a wind that blew and the Holy Spirit blew into each one of them. And it helped them know how to live the life that was pleasing to God. So they could go out after Jesus rose to heaven, they could go out into the world and spread the good news that Jesus Christ is God's son and teach the things that God taught. So the wind, we can't see it. We can see what it does right now. Can you hear? Can you hear my wind chime? It's blowing and it's making noise. So we hear the wind in the wind chime. It was a real windy day. We really hear it. Also, the wind is blowing in the trees so you can see the leaves move and you can feel the wind on your skin. So even though we can't see the wind, we can see what the wind does, the results of the wind. So that's like the Holy Spirit. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but we can see the outcome in the wonderful things that the Holy Spirit does in our lives. Because the Holy Spirit inside of us, God inside of us, is that voice that tells you to do good. And that voice that, that reminds you when to show love and kindness, forgiveness. And also that voice inside of you that helps you to resist temptation, to not do something you might want to do, but which is not pleasing to God. The Holy Spirit tries to stop us from making mistakes in our life. So the way I want to explain the Holy Spirit today is a way that you can actually see. So I have two vessels here. And in Jesus' time, a vessel is what a woman would take to the well to fill with water to bring back to her home because they didn't have their water in their homes like we do. A vessel, as we know, is empty until it's filled up. So let's just say the vessel is us. And we all have this empty place inside of us. And if we go out into the world, there's going to be all these places for us to show kindness and love. And we might miss those with this empty, because we have this empty place inside, we might just pass those by. So I have a plant here that needs watering. So let's say my plant is the world and it needs watering, which represents the help in the world that's needed. So if we take our empty vessel and we go to water our plant, nothing comes out. It didn't do any good to the plant because there's this place inside of us that would be empty. But when we believe in Jesus and that he is God's son sent for us, then we are the vessel that is filled with the Holy Spirit. So when we go out into the world, the Holy Spirit helps us spread goodness and help people in the world and animals in the world by showing love, kindness, forgiveness. And it also helps us do things that are pleasing to God and not do things that are not pleasing to God. So I hope that helps explain the Holy Spirit to you a little bit. And I love that this lesson today is also on our teacher, shepherd, M&M &M leader, and all the leaders 
that help with children's ministry, that it's our appreciation day because I know that they are all filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit guides them to do things for you. They love being your teacher, your shepherd, helping you as acolytes, running M&M events, cleaning up your library, being on our Christian Ed Committee. We have so many people at our church that have the Holy Spirit in them and they are led by God to serve in children's ministry. And we thank God for that. So let's do that now, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for the Holy Spirit that lives inside each one of us who believes. Help us to recognize your voice, recognize the feelings you put inside of us to let us know that what we are doing is pleasing to you. And Father, thank you for all the children's ministry and Christian education volunteers who give so much of themselves for St. Matthew and the children and youth and adults through Christian education. We thank you that the Holy Spirit lives in them. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, go out into the world and do good, spread love and kindness.